Welcome into this week's Degrees of Science. Today we're on the road at the Mayborn Museum on the beautiful Baylor campus. We got Molly Noah with the uh, Mayborn Museum here. And Molly, tell us about this cool space theme exhibit that we're at. Yeah, well, welcome to Journey yeah. to Space. Um, we got this exhibit from the Science Museum of Minnesota, um, and we've just been having so much fun with it. So is this something that y'all did geared up because of the eclipse happening in Central Texas? Yeah, we definitely wanted to um, have as much space and science here at the Mayborn as we could to get ready for the eclipse in April. Um, so we opened this exhibit back in January, and uh, we've just been having a lot of fun with it since. Is it one that kids are super excited to see and be a part of? Yes, definitely. I feel like every morning we just see kids running in here, getting ready to play with all of the different experiments. And you can hear one of the rockets launching right now. So a really cool exhibit. So when kids and people walk in, what's, what are they first really going to see once they come into the exhibit? Yeah, so the exhibit actually starts with a really great video that kind of details the history of the United States Space Program. Um, but then goes into my favorite section, which is all about how space can actually kill you. Um, it's pretty dangerous up there with the changes in temperature, the radiation, and the lack of air pressure. Um, humans were just never evolved to live out there. So uh, it's pretty cool to see all the different inventions and engineering feats that we've kind of created to be able to travel out there. And, and you've got a good mix of kind of artifacts and stuff that's cool, but a lot of really hands-on style uh, exhibits inside of here, right? Yeah, for sure. We definitely want kids to be able to really get their hands dirty and experiment with different ways of being up in space. Is this really a hands-on kind of thing where kids can kind of be touching and learning through this? Yeah, definitely. So the exhibit really has a nice mix of hands-on experiments, videos, and artifacts. Um, so kids can play for a little bit, then they can learn for a little bit, they can sit for a little bit. Um, so you can really spend a lot of time in here. Is there a particular age or is it from young kids to adults that are enjoying this? Yeah, I would say starting at maybe age three hmm. um, and then all the way up to, you know, 85 is what I would say. <laughs> yeah, you're like me, I'm a space nerd and keep wanting to, wanting to learn. So what are some of the hands-on exhibits uh, that the kids can use? Uh, I know you have with the little claw. What, what exactly does that do uh, that the kids yeah. can do? Yeah, so we um, have kind of a, an imitation of the robotic hand mm -hmm. that is up at the International Space Station. Um, so kids can kind of learn how to use the claw to pick up uh, like a silver ball mm -hmm. and drop it into a bucket, mm -hmm. um, which is deceptively hard actually. Um, it really gives you an appreciation for how much work the astronauts are doing up there using these claws to dock different space stations and mm -hmm. things like that. So how, how long is this exhibit going to be here at the Mayborn? Um, so it will be here through April 21st, so plenty of time for people to see it after the eclipse. And are y'all expecting a big influx of people when it gets to in and around the, the eclipse happening? Yes, for sure. We have been preparing for the eclipse for two years. Um, we're very, very excited and we plan to see quite a few people at that time. So it, hopefully this will introduce people from the area to the Mayborn. What, what else besides these, this temporary exhibit here do you have that kids may enjoy inside the, the museum? Yeah, for sure. So we also have um, an exhibit called a New Moon Rises. Um, this is actually our first exhibit with the Smithsonian, now that we are a Smithsonian affiliate. Um, so we're pretty excited about it. It is a really beautiful photography exhibit, um, showing you sides of the moon that you just wouldn't normally see because they're dark. Um, and so it really gives, I think, kids a great up-close example of what it looks like to be on the moon, uh, which is exciting for the eclipse, of course. Um, and then we also, of course, have our Discovery Center, which is um, room after room of different hands-on activities. We've got a great bubble room. Um, we have another space room that has some artifacts from SpaceX. Um, and then we have our design den, which is kind of our tinker and maker space. So there's definitely lots of stuff to do here. You can spend all day here. How cool is it on y'all's end to have an event like this, the Eclipse, that's kind of opening up kids to want to learn about science and STEM-related uh, information? Yeah, this is kind of the dream for us. Our entire staff has been so excited for literally years about this. Um, we've been developing you know, different lesson plans and going out into the community to teach kids and teachers about the eclipse. Um, so for us, this is like very exciting. We're, we're really happy. All right, so I got to get hands on on some of these. Why don't we take a look and kind of show me around some of these cool exhibits? Yeah, definitely. So one of the cool things that people probably know about in space is the International Space Station. But tell me about this cool thing you'll have to kind of teach some of the younger kids about the setup of the space station. Yeah, so here we actually have a recreation of the International Space Station, but we have these tiny dolls oh. that little kids <laughs> can play with. Um, so here at the Mayborn, we obviously really believe in play mm -hmm. as the best way to learn. Um, so we love that kids can take these little astronauts and place them in different parts of the International Space Station um, and kind of go through what a day would be like. Yeah. So they go to sleep, they can eat, they can do experiments. Wow, um, so I bet the, the younger kids really enjoy kind of yes. the, the feel for this. And, and like I said, it's fun for them to play, but then you can say something like this is actually in space where people are working 
every day and learning about this stuff. Yeah, for sure. We really hope that kids can start to kind of see themselves on the International Space Station mm -hmm. and, and maybe think about space as a future career. And y'all have a lot of videos that are from astronauts that were on the space station kind of explaining how different parts of life go on in a space station. Yeah, definitely. Videos from, you know, how to wash your hair to how to go to the bathroom to how laundry works in space. So I'm guessing you get some chuckles from the boys and girls about the bathroom oh, stuff, yes. right? The bathroom's very popular. Yes. All right, so when you think space, you think zero G, but you don't think about how different gravity can make stuff weigh. So tell me about this cool thing with peanut butter. Yeah, so here we have uh, peanut butter, but how it would weigh on different planets. Wow. Um, so here we have peanut butter and what it would weigh on Mars, about six ounces. Um, but then we can look at Where's Jupiter? Oh, Jupiter, and it's 37.8 ounces, so quite a bit heavier. And that is actually due to different gravity on different planets. Wow, that's like, feels like nearly nothing to, feels like a bowling ball you're picking up nearly. So the kids enjoy getting to touch and kind of mess with this stuff to kind of see how that weight could differ. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel like peanut butter is a really fun way to talk about gravity rather than maybe some of the more boring math ways. <laughs> so, the Molly, I've got some really cool artifacts here. Tell me about what we're, we're looking at in this case. Pretty cool to have stuff from Neil Armstrong. Yeah, for sure. So these are his gloves that he used um, when he was practicing to go up in space. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everything that the spacesuit has is designed to really keep you alive. So it's sort of like, you know, an astronaut's space ship when they're out on their spacewalks. Um, so these gloves are really life-saving gloves, um, and they really help to keep the air pressure um, at a good degree for uh, the astronauts while they're out there working. And this is a helmet that they used used in space, or at least was it training, or was it for something they actually went in space? Um, so this actually was in space, the space helmet. Um, and the space helmet, as you can see, has that gold layer on top, um, and that is to deflect, you know, dangerous light from the moon or from the sun. Um, but the helmet also protects from flying meteorites, um, and also, you know, keeps them alive with the <laughs> correct amount of air pressure um, and oxygen that they need. So it amazes me for y'all that work in museums, how you have to become an expert in so many different things. How much have you learned about space and space travel and astronauts just since this exhibit? Oh, so much. <laughs> this exhibit goes into great detail. Um, it's been a lot of fun to learn there. I, you know, I, of course, always knew that space was dangerous, but I had no idea how dangerous yes. space really is. Um, and so, you know, these are very much life-saving yeah. materials right here. And for parents that have kids that may be interested in space, how much do you recommend them coming to this exhibit and let them, again, hands-on, get a, a touch and feel of some of the stuff that could project their learning about space? Yeah, for sure. I think if your kid is interested in space at all, this is the perfect exhibit for them. Um, there's so many different levels of learning. There's lots of, like, great videos, um, fun hands-on activities. And so I think it's a great place for families to come learn together and talk about space. Awesome. So again, remind us how long is the exhibit and where, for po people that maybe not be from Waco, where exactly the Mayborn is? Yeah, so we're going to have Journey to Space through April 21st here at the Mayborn Museum, which is on Baylor's campus here in Waco. So just off of University Parks, right off of I-35. Awesome. So yeah, great exhibit. Molly, thank you for taking some time to talk with us. And yeah, make sure you bring the kids, check out this cool uh, Journey into Space uh, exhibit.